Stampers. My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I have a Christmas card project for you. I am using um, some of our Stampin' or let's see, Shimmer White um, embossing powder that's got glitter in it. It's beautiful and I've not had the chance to work with it before and I'm also using one of our Snow Globe domes from the Still Scenes uh, suite and I'm using some paper from the Feels Like Frost so <laughs> it's kind of a combination of a whole bunch of things here but I really like the card and I hope you will too so let's okay. just get started here is my card and um, it's a shaker card I didn't use it as a snow globe uh, just as a shaker card and um, I'm using a few things different this time, but basically it's the same card and I don't have my embellishments on the inside on this one and we'll decorate the one we're making together today because I have some different ideas. Okay, let me show you what you need to make this card. I used a base of Knight of Navy that is eight and a half by five and a half scored and folded at four and a quarter. Then I have a piece of Whisper White uh, four by five and a quarter for the inside of our card. Then I have a piece of the feels like frost paper. And because there's um, so many different patterns, I'm just going to try a different pattern on this. And we'll cut this one so you can see exactly what I'm doing with it. Then I need a piece of Knight of Navy. And this is cut three and a quarter square. This little piece is for my sentiment, is cut one and a half by two and a half. And then I have used my sparkle paper, which I haven't used very much this Christmas. And I've used the layering circle dies. And I've used the largest of the scalloped layering circle dies. And then the second largest plain circle. And uh, so you need a piece of um, this sparkle paper that is about three and a half inches square uh, in order to cut this out. And what I did was I put this on the outside of my circle and then cut this piece out of the inside of my circle. And that's to get this around the outside of the snow globe. So, uh, we have a little bit of stamping to do, and I think I'm going to start with that. Uh, and I'm going to use my embossing buddy and get my papers to be embossed. Rest. And then I have my two um, stamps mounted. And this one is from, from the, most the wonderful Time stamp set medley. And this Merry Christmas, and I'm not going to use that Merry Christmas. I'm going to use this Merry Christmas, which is a little bit different than this. And this is the one from the Perfectly Plaid suite. And they're both photopolymer, so I need my Pierce to, Mat um, stamp those the right way. First, I'm going to... It's this and this that I need to stamp. I've got to stop and think what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm going to get lots of verse mark on my tree, and any Christmas tree will do. But I particularly like this one because it really fills up the card. And so I'm going to take one of these snow globe and papers. just put it in place. So I can see right where I'm going to need to put my Christmas tree. And what I want to do is make sure that we can see the top of the Christmas tree. And so I think I need to put that right about there. We'll know for sure in a minute. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get... A good impression of my Christmas tree down there and then this is that shimmer white 
embossing powder that's new in the holiday catalog this time and boy is it ever pretty um, this is what I did this embossing with and so it's glittery and um, silvery and it's got elements of white in it it's very very pretty and I'm just going to tip this into that powder and then flick off the back here and there is my tree. Excellent. And let's see, I've got a little bit that fell out there. And then I'm going to ink up my Merry Christmas. And set that right here in the center of this. I like both of these Merry Christmas. And right now I can't remember where this one came from, but I'll put it down below. But there's my Merry Christmas message. And I'm going to stick that in the glitter as well. Okay, Isn't I'm going to quiet pretty? the video while I use my heat tool on this. To go. This is actually a pretty fast card. Now I'm going to show you how to cut this paper. What I did was I put this on a four by five and a quarter. So I'm first going to cut a piece of four by five and a quarter and then this uh, piece that I have left because I think I want this uh, long strip to go down the side of, um, of the inside I'm going to make this a half an inch well maybe make it to three quarters of an inch wide three quarters of an inch and by probably five and a quarter. Okay. And then we'll put some other things on the inside of that card okay. also. So um, this piece is going to go on the outside of my card. Here and it will go down flat so we can just go ahead and put some adhesive on this this paper is just so beautiful on both sides that there's so much you can do with it let's see that looks to have the right margin amount there of. then this piece is going to go on here then I'm going to need uh, one of the domes. These packages of domes come with 10 domes to I'm a going package. to set this one down so that it is flat on my so card. So I had to go back and off camera, when I did this original tree, I put it too far up on the page. So I moved this one down. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it makes a difference with how my dome fits on the card and that I can get the dome put on my piece of Knight of Navy, still have something showing at the top and get all of my tree, at least the top showing. In fact, it could have gotten down even further than that. Here is okay. my piece that we've gotten so far. And I'm going to set this right up here towards the top because the piece that's going to go down on the I want bottom. I want to make sure that both of these pieces fit on here well. So I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of this um, piece of the Knight of Navy with the tree on it. And then we'll go ahead and fill in our shaker part of this card. So I'm going to put this at the top with a small margin along the top and then equal margins from side to side. There we go. All right. Now then, um, what I'm going to do is I have my sequins that are the snowflake sequins, which I'm going to go ahead and put a nice 
little pinch of right here on my tree. And then I'm going to use my Ice Stampin' Glitter. And I'm going to put just a touch of this glitter in the uh, shaker part of this card. So a little tip of the of the glitter there. All right. Now I'm going to stick down my dome over my tree. And this has um, removable tape around the inside and the outside of our dome here. And I just need to get my pick tool here underneath the release paper and get that pulled off. Okay, now this is going to go right here and be adhered down. Okay, now then, this piece, I'm going to take the ribbon or the backing paper off of this, and then I have my circle that I cut, and this doesn't fit. <laughs> so what we're going to do is snip this off and we're going to make it fit around the circle. Now it's going to be open at the bottom but that's going to be okay because nobody's going to be able to see it. So I'm just going to fit this and what we're going to do is just kind of stretch this circle out a little bit and put this down so we get that nice um, surround that hides all of the shaker dome pieces here. There we go. Now, uh, to hide all of that, I have some of our uh, white metal edged uh, ribbon here and I'm going to tie a bow I'm going to tie a bow with a little bit longer tail is what I'm going to do <laughs> and uh, tie a bow with my ribbon and get it down to the size that I want it pull it good and tight and then I'm going to train both of those tails down towards the bottom and I'm going to snip off those tails. All right. And that we are going to adhere to our card with uh, a glue dot. And I'm going to put this bow right at the bottom of my paper. And I can just see the edges of this sparkle paper here. So I'm going to trim that back on both sides. And there we go. Our ribbon hides the ends of that. And then the shaker part of our card is complete. All right. Now we're going to take our Christmas message right down here on the bottom. And I am kind of center placing all of this. Clean off my powder bossing buddy powder on that and I'm going to put this up this right in the center of the front of my card and there my card front is pretty much complete all right on the inside we have a piece of white, Whisper White, and I'm going to put that down with some snail adhesive that 
I do think I want to put some ribbon down. So I'm going to take this piece that we cut off earlier to go on the edge of this piece. And I think I'm going to grab my silicone mat because this is now sticky. And I'm going to put some adhesive on the strip of paper and put that down on our card on the inside. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this ribbon to go right down the center of that paper. And I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of my ribbon. And put that right down the middle of this paper strip and wrap that around the back of the card and add a little bit of glue and we'll put this inside in place. Now there's lots of other sentiments if you wanted to have more of a written sentiment that you could put on the inside of this um, but I'm pretty happy with that for the card. So this is my project for the day and I'm going to go back and put that same inside piece on this one but um, there is the project for the day. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Or you could join my team. And this is one more thing you can do with your Feels Like Frost paper and your Still Domes that isn't really um, a snow globe. Uh, but I think this is just a lovely idea. And I will show you. I have been messing around with these domes and I did make something like this and I, I was messing around with what I could put on the outside and as I look at this what I might do is go back and put this on the outside of this one and I put a bow on it and to make it a Christmas ornament. So I did that one and then I got as far on the next one I was trying the tool ribbon and I got just that far so that I could thinking about making another kind of ornament and then finally I just turned it into this card. <laughs> but I think it's an interesting idea to think about ornaments when you're doing this because it's a pretty simple process to turn uh, the shaker element into an ornament. And I think you could do these circles around the outside and have it be nice and pristine and on the back of your backing piece here you could put one of these trees on with some of that um, glitter on the back so that it would have something nice to look at on the back. I think I did I did do that on this one. So this would be an ornament then would show this on the front and I just cut deer from uh, the Still Scenes die set and then did one of these trees on the back side of this so that it would look nice from both sides. I'm not very happy with this, um, but it was prototype. And I thought I would just show you so you get an idea that what else you could do with this. I mean, if we just turn this upside down, turn the tree going the other way, that would make a lovely ornament. So uh, there we go. Uh, thanks again for stopping by. Um, this is November and my prize for November is one of the uh, Christmas Time is Here Christmas Rose Sweets, the bundle, the dies, and the stamp set, and a package of paper. So um, all you have to do to be in my drawing is to put an order in on my website, albedinger.stampinup.net, or you can get to it through my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye!